Okay, now sizzling on the GMA heat index, the surprising new study that <laughs> says bras. Said, do you guys just not want us participating today? <laughs> <laughs> what? Belly, no, we really need you to weigh in on this. Come on, we need you to weigh in on it. Bras, according to the study. <laughs> we were are, supposed to walk out here, though. Our eight, I think that actually you probably want to stick around and see this piece. Bras apparently, according to the people in France, are a false necessity and they make your bust lose its buoyancy. Oh no! Even faster. ABC's Juju Chang with, is here with an investigative the latest, party. Yeah, the latest. Yeah, the latest. I'm waiting on this study. I'm, I'm waiting for Joss and um, George to weigh in on yeah, this story. So everybody yeah. stay tuned. But you know, really, not since the bra burning era of the 60s has the idea of ditching bras captured such heated debate. Come on. But it's not for feminist reasons. One male researcher mm -hmm. studied shocking. lots of women, shocking, right, in France, and he claims that women would be less saggy if they got rid of bras altogether. But not one woman I talked to is heading to the garbage <laughs> can anytime soon. They're the fashion staple that Katie, Madonna, and lots and lots of angels support. For most women, bras are a second skin, but now new research claims women's breasts may get saggier when they wear bras. An age-old coverage crisis? Perhaps. Initial findings in a French study suggest that bras may limit the growth of supporting breast tissues that keep breasts perky. Over 15 years, the research team followed 330 women and found those who took off their bras for good experienced firmer, perkier breasts each year they didn't wear a bra. So does this mean women don't need these anymore? Self-proclaimed national bra expert Linda Becker isn't unhooking. What makes you think that the research is poppycock? Gravity pulls everything down. There's no way that you can walk around day after day and not wear a bra and have your breasts real up and perky. Linda, who owns a chain of bra stores and a national online bra site, says most women would be in bad shape physically and socially without adequate bosom support. And this is your biggest seller online? Right. You can't tell me that a woman who wears this bra would be better not wearing the bra. I would say no. Right. Because, you know, it would be sitting on her lap. But Dr. Stafford Brumont, a cosmetic surgeon, says there could be some legitimacy to the French initial findings. In younger women, it seems like it would work to help increase the elasticity and therefore decrease the sagging of a developing breast. Women of all shapes, sizes and ages we spoke to say even if the French research gains more support, they're not burning their bras anytime soon. I think people might fall in love with me a little too much if I went without a bra. Girls, you need your support. The girls need to be perked up. The, the women around the table are doing uh, chest exercises as yeah, we yeah. speak. But, you know, a lot of the women I talked to pointed out in indigenous cultures where women live braless, high sag factor, let's just point that out. And, you know, the woman who's been fitting thousands of women for 25 years remains highly skeptical. I don't know. I, 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 as I said to Lara earlier, how exactly are they measuring this? How do you quantify Yes, you know? a, a scalper. I think right. that's what he got out of the research was just analyzing yeah. women for uh -huh. years and years. Uh -huh. Josh's face is killing me. No, it's, <laughs> George, if we're like Diane Fossey, if you just sit here. I'm quiet, taking the television I'm fifth. Not here, they, I'm not they, here. they accept you as one of their own. Yes. Uh, speaking of free, <laughs> Tony Thompson's here. Excellent segue. Oh boy. Um,